Hello all my yarny friends. Um, for those of you that are new, well, my name is Amber and I am coming from South Dakota. It is actually cooler today than it has been in the last week. We had um, 10 days of over 80 degrees in South Dakota in September. <laughs> this is very unusual. Um, it's usually around 60, 65 this time of year. I apologize for this. Um, this is several days of, of a cold and, um, you know, just life stuff. So I'm not normally my, I'm not <laughs> normally this puffy. And I went to, um, a baseball game and this whole side of my face got sunburnt. So there's a lot more freckles than there was a few days ago. Um, but anyway, I had fun with my dad at the baseball game or baseball, oh my gosh, football game, Augustana football game, um, it was, it was a game, let me tell you, <laughs> um, just like the Green Bay Packers, heart attack kids, you know, you never know if they're going to win or lose, so, um, anyway, this is Ooh Ah Crochet, and for those of you that don't know, um, I named this channel, um, in dedication to my grandmother and my family, um, when we hug in our family, and we're huggers, we... We say, ooh, ah, and when we hug, so, ooh, ah, um, and I know that's strange, and not everybody's huggers, but we are, so when I say hugs, that's what I mean, um, it's just my way of showing you love and caring and all that good stuff, so let's get started. So I thinking, I'm thinking about naming this episode, Are You a Dirty Hooker? Now, if you get offended by me saying hooker, or are you a hooker, I apologize ahead of time. I'm going to say it several times in this episode alone. Um, are you a dirty hooker? So these are the questions I want you to ask yourself, and you tell me in the comments down below if you're a dirty hooker or not, because <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> um... Do you wash your hooks? Do you wash your darting needles? Do you let your kids play with your hooks? Do your pets touch your hooks? Do you put your hooks in your hair or in your bra? Do you keep your hooks in your car? What about your scissors? Do you use your scissors only for yarn? Do you use your scissors for other things? Do your kids play with those scissors? If you answered <laughs> any of those questions, I forgot them all by now, but um, you may be a, hook, a dirty hooker. If you are not washing your hooks, if you are putting your hooks or your darning needle, which I do all the time, I kid you not, I'm sewing in amigurumi, my my needle is almost always in my mouth almost always because I know where it's at it's there I can grab it and go right um, <laughs> I thought about this probably about four weeks ago when we got our first family cold and then I was like you know we are a bunch of dirty hookers <laughs> and I know a lot of you out there will get my humor you'll understand what I mean You've got kids touching your stuff. Um, I know some of my hooks come back and they're like sticky. Not for me. I guarantee you it's not for me. It's from Connor or Daisy or s one of those four touching my hooks and they're all sticky. Okay. Um, but yeah, I will be hand sanitizing or Cloroxing all of my hooks, including my stitch markers, because believe it or not, especially those plastic stitch markers, those go in my mouth too. So, um, yeah, I'll be cleaning all that stuff. <laughs> As you can tell, you can hear it in my voice, I'm sure. So are you a dirty hooker? You let me know in the comments down below, okay? Um, I want to thank everybody that has ordered from Etsy, the stitch markers. Um, if you haven't already, you can go check it out. It's at uh, etsy.com backslash shop backslash ooh ah crochet 
And funny thing, when my mom was making um, the bags and some other of my things, her computer auto-corrected on um, my name, on ooh, ah, on the ah part, and it put a double H. Did you notice on any of my stuff? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to be spelled, or at least not the way I would spell it. I spell it A-A-H. And um, so that problem will be corrected for the next line of products that come out. And it's not my mom's fault because my phone does it all the time. It auto-corrects it all the time. So anyway, um, <laughs> just one of those things that happen, right? So uh, there's that tidbit. Um, but anyway, I want to really thank you guys. Um, for all the, the people that I've ordered and liked my shop or shared my shop, um, really that has paid for uh, the rest of the packages. I still have four packages from the mail to mail out. So Debbie and um, um, Chantel for sure, they're the Canadian ones um, that I have to mail out. And then there's uh, Gil, which I still don't know the first name. Um, I'm not really sure what you want, and then um, I think there's one or two more. So there's still a few people that I haven't got things out to, but I will, and they're they're ready. I'm just I got to get down to the post office without any kids. <laughs> so they're they're coming, um, but anyway, that those purchases have paid for that, and that's gonna pay for my phone. That is the bill is coming up due. Yay. Um, it's also going to pay for my entrance fee into uh, another booth I'm going to be doing. Um, and that one, hopefully I can get it in at a time. It's going to be for, um, or at the Shriners, some sort of event there. And I should know when I don't. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, I want to thank you so very much. And man, I didn't know there was that many people out there that use 7mm hooks. I don't even know a pattern that uses a 7 millimeter hook but apparently uh, knitters do too um, so you guys if you are knitters and you want a stitch marker from me with either the numbers or the letters all you have to do is let me know um, in a comment um, and I can switch those out to you know the jump rings the larger jump rings I do have some larger ones that should work for knitters um, if you don't want the clasps or the last lobster class or the um, lever back hook and believe it or not I'm running out of those too so I'm gonna have to reorder some of that stuff but anyway um, it'll pay for those uh, three things that I've been doing so I appreciate that um, I appreciate all your kind words and um, yeah so thank you very much um, if you again if you haven't bought anything there is a sale until the 28th so Saturday um, it's 15% off the whole sale, and that includes the patterns. So if you want, you can check that out. Um, I want to do... Let's do finished objects first. I don't have very many. Um, I've been literally doing stitch markers, and um, we've had some family things, and then I went to a, a football game, and this... <laughs> Um, but here is uh, the Hedgehog, uh, Milo the Hedgehog, um, pattern is by Valerie with Old Soul Crochet. You know how much I love Valerie. Um, I did this in a 6.5 millimeter hook. Um, again, kids stole my hook. I couldn't find it. I wanted to do it, so I just used a 6.5. Improvising, right? Um, so what she calls for, and it's a great pattern, and I followed it it works it's there's no errors in it I love it um, what I would do differently is um, probably fill most of the bottom with um, beads um, because as you can see there is no way this thing is even going to try to sit up and unfortunately I put my beads um, in a bag and a or got or grounds a bag and cinched it and tied it because um, I didn't want the beads even with the nylon to come out um, and what I should have done is really put the beads 
up front so it would weigh it this way but I would definitely put more than it calls for a half a cup and I suppose I would put a cup or maybe even a cup and a half in there just to give it some more weight and if you don't want it to sit up I mean it doesn't it's not a big deal at all but those toy beads are meant to be um, I mean they're meant to be in toys so I mean they're they're toy safe I guess and so what somebody could do is just either sew a little pouch if you were really worried about them getting out um, you could do that too or you could just put it in the nylon maybe stuff it in two nylons or something but anyway he's super cute and I definitely have my puff stitch down <laughs> so there is that and so I told you I was going to finish him or I said I was going to finish him um, and I said I was going to make a pair of gloves and I did so here and I'm not really sure how to get rid of that one I didn't want to be bothered with the invisible join um, pulling the hook out and pulling it through the back I'm going to try to put an embellishment or something on them I mean, I they're, it's on there, but so those are the two gloves, and um, these fit my boys pretty much to the T. Um, Daisy would have some wiggle room in there, of course, but I used um, the pattern calls for a five millimeter hook. Um, I used a four, and I used the adult size. So um, I mean, that came out perfect. So and I and I obviously I had hands to measure with, so I measured their their wrists because um, that's what they say to do for the cuff. Um, and I probably would go maybe longer with the cuff because I used a four millimeter hook. I might go just a tad longer, but my kids don't want it rolled. I try to roll it up on Jacob, and he's like, no, 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 no. So, um, but anyway, that um, pattern is um, Mikey with. Uh, uh, the crochet crowd has a video on that. Um, the pattern is on your inspiration's website. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Something hands. But if you look up hands, hands and crochet patterns, free patterns on your inspiration's website, it's going to come up. And I will link it down below. If I can remember. Excuse me, I have to drink something. I make it through most of my day unless I'm trying to, um, unless I don't drink anything. And then it like sticks right here. Um, Connor is currently taking a nap. Daisy's in preschool and I don't have to drive her. Oh my God, you guys. Three hours in a car with no air conditioning and um, sometimes four kids in that car at 85 degrees. Hallelujah. Thank God for a bus. <laughs> um... Unfortunately, Daisy's on the bus for almost two hours, but I'm not having to drive, I'm not having to pay gas, I'm not having to do uh, Connor in and out of that car, and when the winter comes, I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't want to try to grab kids from one school and another school, because Daisy's at a different school, but, um, and a different program, because of the changes that Trump made to the preschool program three-year-olds weren't allowed so anyway um, unless they were a hundred percent poverty we're more like 130 percent poverty um, we're right over the threshold of where we needed to be anyway TMI but um, she got into a different program and she likes it and she is so happy and she asks me as soon as she wakes up in the morning are we going to preschool can I go to my bus can I get on my bus can I go to school can I go no, it's like four hours away. <laughs> but anyway, one pair of mittens down, yay, and they all want a pair. Of course, right? Everything I make, Mom, are you making that for me? No, I'm not. <laughs> I will make them a pair of gloves, and I did get a comment from Mrs. DeRyder that last year from Michael's kindergarten teacher um, that she was so surprised that Michael kept his red pair of gloves all all school year he did he absolutely and that was two school years because he had them in preschool so maybe if they're crocheted 
maybe other kids won't want them. I don't know. But he did a really good job and he kept he kept track of them. So um, let's see. I am recording on uh, my mom. My mom gave me a tablet or we switched. She gave me something for my birthday and it didn't work out. So I'm recording on her tablet, which is mine. Um, so I can sh show you some different things and hopefully maybe I can download some editing software that won't have the watermark eventually. I do want to share with you some things. Um, I am, uh, I do use Ibotta and so far this year, so since, so almost a year now, I've made over, um, $250. So, there's me. So almost two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, for me, that's great because I don't work, and I know that when people say they spend money or they don't spend money, literally, I don't. I if I have money on me, it might be ten, fifteen, twenty dollars, um, unless Don gives me money to go grocery shopping. So. This is literally what we spend on groceries. Um, there used to be a lot of Joann's, but Joann's is no longer on my Ibotta. But in Ella's area, her Ibotta gives 15% back for Joann's. So, I mean, it's a huge, huge thing. So, depending on what you're doing, um, whether you shop on Amazon. I know there's tons of people that buy stuff from Amazon all the time um, for their craft supplies, different things like that. Um, Amazon offers a cash back for, for things on there. Um, and then you get bonuses. Um, Terry from Yarn Joy and Ella from No Catchy Name, we all talk about Ibotta and um, there's different bonuses like on the weekends if you're going to go, um, like especially during the holiday, there was a $10 bonus if you bought say 8 items or 10 items or 12 items. And a lot of the times it's just items that you know, you buy for your kids, or you buy for yourself, um, raisins, uh, drinks, crackers, pretzels. I mean, diff just different things. Um, home stuff like uh, cleaners and toilet paper and different things. So they offer different, different things in different areas. So say what Terry has in Texas, I probably won't have here because obviously they're getting paid for advertising certain items for certain stores um, but they have Walmart and um, now with Ibotta if you can um, if you pay with your Ibotta and your linked card you get 1% uh, back guaranteed um, for all your purchases so I guess I'll shop at Walmart just a little bit more than I used to um, but anyway and then you still get bonuses back for things that you buy all you have to do is um, redeem your receipts. So that's that one. And I will put my referral code down below. Um, if you sign up and you want to, if you have any questions, let me know. It's it's a little intimidating. But what I do is I look at it when I have, I'm in my car waiting or, you know, I just look at it when I'm, when I'm bored or going to look at my phone anyway. So I go and I, or right before I go do groceries, I'll look and see if there's any good deals. Um, sometimes you'll get buy one, buy one, get one free, or you'll get buy one and get it free back. Uh, last week I bought five boxes of cereal and I got, um, I got them for free because I got all that money back. Three dollar boxes of cereal I got back. And it's, it's good cereal. The kids are going to eat it. They love it. <laughs> um. So anyway, uh, there's that. But I'll put my link down below. If you have questions, let me know. Um, if you if you do all your stuff within seven days, I think that's when the bonuses apply. But you get a bonus too. So if you sign up and you meet the requirements within a certain amount of days, then you get that bonus too. Um, same with uh, Shop Kicks, which Terry from Yarn Yarnjoy put me on too. Um, and like I said, I don't... I don't have work. I don't. <laughs> I work. I'm a mom, right? Um, and I do my crafty stuff. But usually, your craft business goes right back into your craft business. I mean, 
if we're not kidding ourselves in that, it's, but um, anyway, she put me on to Shopkicks, and basically what that is, is window shopping. <laughs> but you're getting paid to window shop. Um, you get paid, uh, like, so say you were to walk into um, Best Buy. Best Buy has over 500 Shopkick points that you can get right now. Um, and basically you go through the store and you, let's see if you can see that. Do, 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 do. So here is the scan button right here. Touch that. Oops. And it tells you there's 50 different items in the store that you can scan. Um, and then a lot of it would be like movies. Like you can go through and pick a dozen different movies. There's 47 actual movies you can scan. You can go up and scan TVs and audio things, um, SD cards, so all kinds of stuff. Um, but you can also go into Walmart, and I've done this, I don't know how many times. I'm a late night shopper, because I don't want to take my kids with me. Um, I, I try, I do try, I try to take them out. And oftentimes I get so stressed out, I just regret the whole trip. <laughs> but right now Walmart has 800 points you can get just for scanning items. Um, and you can get, uh, for... 1250 points you get a five dollar gift card or if you get 2500 points um you get a ten dollar gift card or if you go 2550 you can transfer it to your paypal account which i've done already twice um and that's just for me i've only bought one thing you can get extra points if you buy suggested items um but i've only bought one thing on there um, all the other points I've gotten have just been from scanning items. And then they also have um, a discovery part. Do, do, do. So they so this is your earn button. And this is your discovery points. You can go under here and they have extra points just for um, watching videos. And those update every um, 24 hours. So you get points just for looking at videos, watching those. So... Again, if you're interested, I will put um, links down below. And they do have online section too. So if you're buying online, um, you can earn that way too. So there's Kicks Online or Kicks in Stores, and it automatically just uses your um, your GPS tracker or whatever to show you what stores are near. So even if you go into a different town, it's still going to pull those stores up for you. And you get points just for walking into a store. So... Um, if you walk into Marshall's, you're going to get 75 points. If you walk into Carter's or Oshkosh, you get 50 points. Target is 10 points. Walmart is 10 points. Um, and those, I think, update weekly too. So, anyway, that stuff, or if you have any questions, let me know. Those are down below. Um, but I keep forgetting to tell you guys about that, and I kind of wanted to show you a little bit about the apps. I mean, they are a little tricky, but if you, I guarantee you, most of you are smarter on your phones than I am. Um, I had a flip phone up until last year. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> um, and and speaking of new subscribers, if you are if you are watching this long, thank you very much. I know I'm rambling, and I apologize. I like. I like to ramble. I follow my friend Kim. Hi, Kim. We always got to wave because that's what we do. Got to wave. Hold on just a second. I'm going to tilt you. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so right now we're at 864 subscribers, you guys. I'm so, so thankful. So, so, so thankful for you guys. I can't even imagine. Um, so what I want to do is I'm not going to put it the title I'm not going to do any of that um, what I want to do is I want to support my fellow crafters okay I am going to do a $10 giveaway or up to $10 um, for any of uh, anybody's pattern um, of the following okay people that I know or I purchased from um, Rel with a dabbling hook Randy with um, Random Randy's Ramblings, 
uh, Hannah with um, the Cozy Cottage Crochet, Crochet Luna, um, Claudia has a new um, um, Encanto wrap out there if you want that, Angelia with the Little Xenia patch, Ella's patterns if you haven't already bought them, um, uh, Heidi Bear's patterns, um, and Heidi from Snappy Tots. If uh, so, out of those, I'm gonna write that down because I'll forget. Heidi's the two Heidi's. Um, for so up to ten dollars, and they can be a combination. If you guys want to look into all that combination, it was a lot easier on Ravelry. And if you want to do it on Ravelry for those um, several people I named, I think most of them are still on Ravelry except for Ella. Um, so anyway, up to ten dollars if you if you're a winner. Um, you'll have your choice of those people. You guys, we need. I I appreciate the support that you've given me, and I want to support those people back. Um, I really do talk to most of these guys um, a lot. <laughs> um, Randy and Ella and uh, and, and Rel, they I really are kind of my go-to people. Um, so I appreciate them, and and uh, I I know you guys do too, because most of you are subscribers of them already. So so anyway, there's that little bloop in the middle of the video. Um, I already did those. So, if you're keeping track, um, we haven't really done an announcement, and I won't. I'm just mentioning it throughout the videos here, but if you um, want to start making mittens for the mitten drive I'm going to have, um, you certainly can. I did post several different mittens in the Facebook group. Or not several different pit mittens. I posted the the sizing charts and the the video link for um, the crochet crowd. There are tons of different mittens out there. Um, but basically you do a cuff and then you do your hand um, up as far as you're going to do. Chain for your thumb as big as you think you need. And then decrease probably the last couple rows. So they're fairly easy. Um, it's just distracting with many kids. You guys, I did, I did do it like a sock and I did both at the same time because I wanted to make sure with measuring the kids' hands that I did them the same. Um, and so I took just a red heart ball. I mean, it's just red heart, I think regular blue. And I took the middle of the skein and the outside of the skein and I did them together. It worked, and uh, that way I knew I had the same stitches. <laughs> um, I do want to do a couple shout-outs, and um, if my computer will let me. Do, 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 do. Do you guys ever think it's funny how many um, K's and H's there are in the YouTube community um, as far as names? Um, I've mentioned um, Happiness is Homemade with uh, Karen. Um, you guys, she is the sweetest. <laughs> she... She's one of the sweetest persons I know. She's She always tries to be positive when she leaves comments. Always uplifting. Um, and if you look at her amigurumis, and she did it perfect. Hocus, Ella's pattern, Hocus the, the frog witch. She added the Karen Flair. I'm going to tag that. The Karen Flair um, to Hocus. And she added little patches to his hat. Just like she added to Spooky, she added eyelashes, blush, and a bow, <laughs> she added the Karen Flair. So I absolutely love it. Um, and if you haven't watched her, you should really go check her out. And I always get her mixed up, the name, not her, because I know who she is. Um, but I get the name mixed up with um, Hooked on Happen Happenstance. Um, 
or hooked by happy sense. Um, Kendra. Kendra, Karen, ha happiness homemade, hooked on happy sense. <laughs> Can you guys understand why I get those mixed up? <laughs> K-K-H-H-H-H. Yeah. <laughs> um, Kendra, I love Kendra. And uh, if you guys haven't watched her, if you're looking for a little bit of um, no-nonsense attitude, she she says it how she feels, and that's how we should all be, honestly. Um, and I really like her. So, and she does a lot. She does homeschooling, and she she loves reading, and so she's very educated, and she'll explain different words. I've learned words from her that I never knew, um, never thought I would learn. <laughs> so. She's one of those. And then um, Hannah, which I've already mentioned, uh, the Cozy Cottage Crochet, uh, but Hannah, you got another H in there. There is um, Hooked on Owls, which is Lacey. Uh, she did a couple videos. Lacey, you can do some more. I'm going to have to look to make sure you haven't um, done any lately, but... Um, then there is Carrie Penny with the Happy Crafty Homemaker. There's some more H's for you. <laughs> um, where else? Oh, there were so many of them, and I had them all in my head. Uh, there's a new one, which I honestly, I'm sorry, um, Jackie, I haven't gotten to watch a lot of videos. But Hooking in Good Company, if you haven't watched her yet, um, she is currently overseas, and she just did a, a video um, from Platform 9 and 3 fours. So you'll have to check that out. Um, let's see. Of course, um, my South Dakota girls, the Crafty Farm Gal, which I always get that mixed up. I say get girl, and I mean gal, Michelle. <laughs> um... And then Madonna Ballard is another South Dakota girl. Let's see. I'm looking down my list. You guys, I have so many of them. It's, it's literally crazy how many are on here. Um, oh, and like Kim. Okay, Kim names. Kim's or K's. Uh... There's Kim's Crafty Corner, which Kim at the Blue Share are, and her are best friends. Um, they always talk about each other. <laughs> hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. Um, another one I've been watching is Cinnamon Stitches. I love her. <laughs> and she she's a real big uh, Disney fan. Um, and she's a f big fan of Stitches, uh, or Stitch from... Um, I can't remember. My, oh, I just watched it too. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> and there is Holly. Holly changed her name recently. Um, Sleepy Fox Yarn. Um, but Holly Whedon. And um, she's got, she does a lot more knitting than crochet. Um, but I watch her too. Um, if you guys are looking for, um, people that do a lot of, um, donation work or, or just, uh, charity work, I guess. Um, I've mentioned her before, but Lottie with, um, enjoying the journey, cancer, cancer as a lifestyle. Um, you guys, she makes amazing things. And if you have somebody in need, um, that just got diagnosed with cancer or some other illness or um, alcoholism or you know just different things that you think that they could use a blanket um, if she's got the supplies all of her ministry is done by supplies so if you've got extra yarn or different things that you want to send her she will gladly take those because um, all that stuff goes back out into the community she also does plarning yay another girl at my own heart um, she does planning and makes, uh, homeless sleeping bags, or sleeping mats for the homeless. Sorry. Sleeping mats for the homeless. She does those too. So, I really like Lottie. 
Um, do, 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 I'm just looking through here. Oh, yeah, there's the other, there's some more H's. Happy, uh, hooked, hook, happy to hook, which is Lisa's channel. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> um, oh, there's the mirror man. He scares me every time. Katrina's cr Creations, which there's two, cre there used to be, I don't know if there still is, Katrina's Creations. Um, Katrina is from the UK also. Uh, da, 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 da. I have a bunch, and I might have to start doing like what, um, uh, what Terry does. Not exactly like that, because I don't want to copy her, but, um, I think right now I have, it doesn't tell me how many subscriptions I have, but I'm pretty sure it's over 300. So there's a lot of you out there and I do watch a lot of you and unfortunately I watch it on my TV versus my computer. So a lot of the times I don't get to comment. Um, I do try to comment if it's something that I, like I really, really want to like, bam. <laughs> there was one, oh. Um, <laughs> Kim, I love you, but I have to say this. So, Kim said, or she said it a couple different times in the latest video. She's like, I gotta nip out, or I gotta do something like that. Um, I gotta nip out, or I got a chance to nip out. And I was like, what? <laughs> if you are nipping out in the United States, that is completely different then the UK meaning, which means you're going out of the house, I'm assuming. If you are nipping out in the United States, your headlights are showing. And ladies, you know what I mean, so I don't have to repeat that. But I was laughing so hard, I couldn't even tell you. It was just like... <laughs> and tipping it down means it's raining. It's raining. But she says it's tipping it down. I love it. I just love, I love, I love learning all the new terms. I do. So, um, but anyway, let's call that, let's call that good for now, I guess. And, um, again, I appreciate all of you that have hit the subscribe button, hit the like buttons, hit the comments. Um, I've gotten a couple, uh, dislike buttons, which... Okay, sorry if you dislike it. You don't have to watch. I mean, it happens. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, hit the like and subscribe button. Well, once we get to a thousand people, I will do a big giveaway. Um, yarn and everything included. I've been kind of gathering, gathering supplies for that. Um, I'm super excited, you guys. Uh, what else? If you haven't watched the video yet um, for the principles getting the mail packages, go check that out. And again, let me down below if you are a dirty hooker or not. <laughs> Alright, you guys, keep safe, clean your hooks, and take care.